morning. How are you today? Good morning. How's your day going today? I'm just rounding this morning. Spend a day on the job with Gudron Mall and you will do a lot of walking. Hi, how are you? She says it may be as much as three miles. Keeps me busy and keeps me clean. <laughs> when Mall does have a chance to sit down and catch her breath, her break doesn't last long. Her schedule is jam-packed. No problems today? No, okay. Are okay. They're all satisfied. Thank you. If you don't have it figured out by now, Maul is a chief nursing officer and she is anything but a behind-the-scenes leader. After working for more than 16 years in executive roles at facilities in Arizona, Florida, and her native Germany, six months ago, Maul took the job at Alvarado Hospital in San Diego, California. I think my role as a CNO is to create that environment to elevate the leadership and set the expectations so that nurses have a good support in their daily work. My name is Gudrun Moll. I'm the Chief Nursing Officer here at Alvarado Hospital. And let me just try to pick out a couple of pieces. I know you, OK? Yes, there I is know. Rita, my new <laughs> AC. Hi. Um, and where are you from? Sheila. Sheila? i in DOU. DOU. OK. There's my card. If you ever need me, you know how to get a hold of me. Where do you work? Her day is varied. Her responsibilities vast, from serving on special committees to meeting with nurses at the infection control orientation. Mall estimates she spends roughly eight hours a day in meetings. Because I don't want people, people be overwhelmed with weekly data and then they all get frazzled and don't know what to focus on. Here at Alvarado, Mall oversees some 300 nurses. But that's just a portion of what she calls a complex daily workload. There is the budget, the daily operation of patient care, nurse staffing and development, and of course, recruitment and retention. Some of the days can be as long as 16 hours. X-ray of the tibia and fibula shows soft tissue swelling. With oh, and she is also a liaison to the medical staff and on all of their committees as well. And at least twice a month, Mall shadows nurses on the floor to, as she puts it, just keep up. I believe that I'm not the expert at the bedside, and I shouldn't be because my focus is, is different, but I trust the bedside nurse. So if somebody says, Gudun, I have a problem, this process isn't working, I will go down there if I have to and let them show me how it works and what the problem is and then trying to work with them to fix it. There was another challenge for Gudron upon arriving at Alvarado. The facility was going through an ownership transition and was without a CNO for nearly four years. I took the first five weeks just to do a very thorough assessment of all the nursing issues that are present, talk to all the constituents, to the nurses, to the supervisors, to other departments, physicians, to get a re very good feel of what's going on. Mo believes having an open door policy is another key factor in becoming successful in the CNO position. The nurses are involved in everything. They're the largest group of employees in the hospital and um, they're basically the group of people who are here 24 seven. So they're the eyes and ears of the physicians. They see often first when something's happening so that they can alert physicians. So uh, they play a huge role in quality care and safety of the patients. And while she doesn't have a lot of extra time for paperwork and emails, she says she is constantly defining and redefining her role. Because my role is not the bedside nurse, that's why you are here, but my role is to break down barriers and make your life easier so you can take care of the patients. Since arriving in mid-2007, Mall has already improved nursing recruitment and retention. And she has also secured a competitive education grant from the state of California for more than $300,000. From San Diego, I'm Mark Prescott for Nurse TV.